Hey guys, it's Rubes here. Today we're getting straight into this mystery booster convention edition. I'm really, really excited for this one. Uh, I've been looking at mystery boxes for so long, waiting for the right time. I picked this one up from Hare Ruya in Japan while I was there on holiday. Price was pretty decent. Uh, I put it up for you on screen and all the different currency equivalent. So the goal as always is to beat the box and to do that, we need to open more than what we paid for the box and cards worth one New Zealand dollar or more. And who knows what we're gonna get. I've never opened a single mystery booster before so I'm pretty hyped for this experience. Um, we are gonna go through the packs a bit slower because we wanna catch some of those commons and uncommons that have a bit of value. Uh, Baduka Bog, Volunteer Reserves, and Mizzix's Mastery. And each of these cards is gonna have a playtest card on the back. Now they are of some value, some of them, uh, and there'll be some or most that aren't of any value. So. I'll go through them and put the prices on screen so you can see how much they add to the total. Uh, the big hit today is Mana Crypt. I'd be so stoked if we found that. Um, and we got our first Mythic, Crufix God of Horizons, originally from Journey into Nyx. Oh, double, and the Sword of Animus, of the Animus as well, is a good hit. Those are two fantastic cards, so we'll do Valuable rares, mythics, valuable mythics, if we find them over there. Um, you got Demonic Tutor in here at Uncommon. There's a lot of good stuff and it is a very achievable win, but you do still need a bit of luck. Uh, Field of Ruin is good. Manamorphose is a great common. Um, that can go over there. Fibble, Thip, The Lost. Unfortunately, Compared to the retail edition versus this convention edition, Rhystic Study is not a possible hit because uh, the artist of the art that they used in that original edition, Therese Nielsen, she had some problems with Wizards. She's no longer an artist there, so it was removed. Guilt Leaf Palace is very nice and a sudden demise. So I like how we've got the chance of a couple of rares uh, in each of these packs. Looks like one older border and one newer border. Very cool. Only 24 packs though, so we are gonna need uh, a bit of luck. Rith the Awakened and Goblin Char Belcher. I think the playtest card that we wanna find, the one that's got that big value is Sliv-Drazi Monstrosity. It's like a cross between a Sliver and an Eldrazi, which is a terrifying thought. Tower Gargoyle, Gruel Signet, Angelic Destiny is Mythic number two, and a Tempt with Discovery. <laughs> this card's so funny. It's a riff on one with nothing from Kamigawa, but it is just one with the that is so good. I think it's I think it's worth a little bit too. Um, it'll be so funny to just stick in your commander deck without anyone knowing. Don't even rule zero it. Just do it when you've had enough rather than scooping. Just um, just hit that. I hope I don't awkwardly miss something like a demonic cheater. Soloring, great mist form shrieker. Uh, Evra, Halcyon Witness, and Lightning Colt. It's Lightning Bolt, but it's a horse. Nice. <laughs> what a card. We've got a Jushi Apprentice rear, a Debtor's Nell, and Kaya Ghost Haunter. Zone Guide, Palladium Mare, Sakashima the Imposter, that is a goodie, and a Grasp of Fate, Commander All Star. I'm 
Maybe I need to go a bit slower here because I didn't realize the commons and uncommons mixed through the early cards in the pack. Avalanche Riders, Whelming Wave, good for the Sea Creature Tribal decks. Dictate of Erebos from Journey into Nyx is a valuable rare that is good to Journey into Nyx cards and Horn in its nest. It's interesting as these sets came out after each other. It went Journey, M15, and then into Khans of Tarkia, um, but they get their own slot. It's funny, that's I can only know that because it's when I started playing. Horn its nest is such a funny card, so I tried to make it work so many times, but um it's a bit of a bit of a noob. Uh, <laughs> reclaim. Backward Survivalists, Engineered Might, Hexplate Golem, Bow of Nihilia, Theros, and a Precursor Golem. At the end, I'm going to really quickly flick through all the comments and uncommons to make sure that I'll not miss something because that would be embarrassing. I keep skipping, I can't help myself. Needle Sentinel, Akum Refuge, Bloom Tender, that's a card, nice. And a Reality Scramble. Lightning Greaves, good. Hedron Crab, I think it might be worth a little something. Oh, and Corsair of Crufix, one of my one of my favorite arts, Eric Deschamp. That's great. Always it brings me a bit of joy when I see that. Almost did it again. Come on. Concentrate. I made it too much fun. Hot Soup. Here we go. Kargan Dragon Lord is a mythic. And Memory Erosion. Foil might be a little something. Yavimaya's Embrace. Grave Titan, Commander 14 version, and Wasteland. Not Wasteland, Wasteland. How are we doing value wise? I mean, we've got a few bits and pieces, but I'm not, I'm not sure that it's quite enough yet. Crop rotation's good. Blinding Soul Eater, River Boa, Night Howler. <laughs> Rough under dog champ. How many? Two, three, four, five, six, seven packs left to go. Less than a third of the box. Dang. Let's see what we got here. Soothsaying. Michael Ock. Spider, Sigil of Valor, Triumph of the Hordes, it, it definitely was a good, a good card, a uh, Vigor from the Battle Wand is something too, nice, that's pretty good, that was a good pack, I like that, Skull Clamp, another goodie. Thank you. Magus of the Moat. I did not know this creature existed. That is pretty funny. And the Marine of Clan Neltop. Classic. Four packs left to go. <laughs> Preordain was worth a little bit. Okay, Evolving Wilds, Martyr's Cause, Desolation Tun from Battle for Zendikar. Freaks and Reclamations, good. 
Kintry Invocation, Call the Scions, Energy Field, Beastmaster Ascension, and Bind Slash Liberate. Beastmaster Ascension used to be quite a valuable card, but it has been reprinted so many times in Commander Precons, which is good. I'm all for prices going down to singles. Uh, ephemeral Shields. I just want to see that tutor. Come on. Another hey, Ashnod's Altar. That's that's all right. Font of Mythos. I believe that is a nice, nice rare to find. Great. And the Mirari Conjecture. And we're down to the last pack. This is it. I think we're going to need something really good from this to, to beat the box. Can it be done? A last pack win is always the sweetest. Animate dead to good uncommon. All right, let's see what we have here. Carpet of Flower, okay. Well, we've seen some pretty good uncommons and the last one is a mythic. It's Liliana Death's Majesty from Armon Kit in a unicycle. Wow, there you go, guys. That was a Mystery Brewster Convention Edition. Uh, did we beat the box? I'm going to say no, we didn't. I'm going to really quickly flick through the <laughs> commons and uncommons that I probably skipped over and I'll let you know if I find anything good. Okay, see ya.